and welcome to the APTA 2022 Grand Prix. Amish and Sabori. Undefeated. Undefeated season continues. Amazing match point. What athleticism. <laughs> what is going to stop them this year? Definitely the best match of the year. Absolutely thrilling victory for all the they fans. They are on a streak. Unique in this sport. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for, for being here. Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. You went undefeated the whole season. Seven tournaments, seven wins. Let's paint a picture for, for people a little bit. How did this start? Take, it, take us to the beginning. When we started the season, uh, I was just out of my C-section. I just had a baby. And that we, I remember we even having that talk, like, should we play, should we not? And I think one of the things that Jeremy said is, well, you just got to keep your expectations low. And we're like, okay, let's just go. Let's just see how it is. So we started nice and easy. We went match by match, really That's trying. You're, you're just trying to see where you are, where the competition is. You're definitely working on this, some things. And uh, I think what's beautiful about this whole journey is that we are just never done in trying to improve and get better. We're just trying to be better than ourselves the previous tournament. So which was sort of a trial just to see how your body's feeling, sort of no, low expectations, you guys win that tournament. Charities you win, the next one is Detroit Invitational. Yes, great learning experience. We won the Nationals in the first two tournaments and we're feeling pretty good. I thought we were playing well and then the day came lights out, you know, totally unpredictable, uh, not your regular pedal game. I remember I couldn't drive at all. I was blaming it on a hot day. I was kind of looking at my paddle. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> Last week he was working. You know, that was one of those uh, season changing moments where we're like, okay, we're not unbeatable. We would play two, three great points and then two, three silly like miss returns and miss serves. So we knew we just needed to be a little bit more uh, consistent. And one of the quotes, I can't remember who is it from, but it's like, I never lose. I just ran out of time before I can solve my problem. So, and we're like, we, we like it seeing that, yes, they are 5-1 up and they still need to connect four points to win the game. And if I just keep connecting before they do, I'm going to catch up. So, like, we're not getting out of here until they connect four of the most amazing shots they can come up with. And it didn't happen. Really, the lesson and the big confidence we got out of that, it's never over. It's really never over. Every time he gets that tight, we start like hitting like on our chest, like the heart. And we always say, play with the heart, play with the heart. And we're like, we're playing so poorly. Let's just win with the heart. And we'll look at each other and it's like, because that's the only thing we have at this point. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Does that mean don't think so much? Playing with the heart, it means, I'm not sure about the strategy right now. We have tried this, we have tried that. Now we just, you play with the heart. You just do what you can, you try your best. And then we leave it out there. You know, for me, it means like, I'm staying in this point until tomorrow, until they, they miss their flight. Like, you know, I'm willing to do it and I'm going to run for everything and I'm going to be so stubborn. I will hit 200 balls if I need to. You win Detroit, then we got Westchester Open. Any, any memorable moments from yes. Westchester for you? Memorable moment. Um, Florentina checking out of a hotel and uh, forgetting all her bags. <laughs> <laughs> the bag, the Everything. suitcase. Everything. Like literally, I just got the baby. Yeah. That was the only thing I, I did remember to bring the baby. I forgot everything. Else. I, 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 I did. I did call Florentina and said, "Where's Where's Sophia? How oh, is she sleeping?" I was like, "Good, she has a baby." Um, Fun fact is that Florentina's memory is, you know, it's, sometimes she calls me. She's like, "I just I'll call you later. I forgot what I why I called you." <laughs> things like that, or um, she's like, "Remind me like, that person what they said something last tournament to me, and I was not happy, right?" I was like, then forget it. <laughs> She's like, can you please remind me? Why, 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 why? She's like, I know something happened, but I can't remember what happened. I'm like, okay, just forget it. Boston, match of the year. That was fun. That was really fun. They outplayed us the first set. Absolutely. They were faster, better, like name it. I was not calm for whatever reason. You have that match where you're just feeling not yourself. I was too nervous and not happy with this and I couldn't drive and then why can't I drive? Like, so it's a certain team that makes you nervous? You're thinking of losing? Like what in general do you think makes no, you nervous? No, what makes me nervous sometimes is when I feel like... You can't find your game. I can't so, find my game. That's a good reason to be you nervous. You know, it's just like... <laughs> it's like, why is it not? What's well, happening? Not happening? Yeah, happening. you know, like I have normally, I think, good drive and then the drive is literally gone. Like everything is going in the net. 
and then I was faulting a lot, which normally I believe we have pretty good serves. So now I'm playing two of my better shots down against those players that you have to really be on top of your game to beat them. And then of course I get upset. Uh, probably you heard that. And um... But you know what? If there is a God paddle, he was rooting for us that day. Because the amount of points that on match point for them that we go like a low percentage, the lowest percentage shot possible that we could pick, we do. And we still made it. Like I couldn't believe it. I was like, yeah, there's something else there <laughs> rooting for us and trying to help us. So let's watch that game. So this is 5 4. Floors had some really good long serving games here, and this is going to have to be our best serving game. You know, I'm too far from the, from the net to do the cutter. Um, any day, but especially in cold weather. Great guy from Gabby. Mm -hmm. I think we lost no three points in a row. Just got to take this drive, return a serve down, down the, the line. line. Look at my body language. My body language when she missed was not very good. Like, let's go back. If your partner does miss, definitely you should do better than I did here. <laughs> like, look, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> but, but look, look, I'm, I'm jogging. I'm like, you got this, partner. Good job, Lord, Lord, Lord didn't come up with that. Like, I'm, we're you, good, you, we're you got good. this. But I'm, it's never at her. And the good thing, she knows that. Because, you know, if you watch and you don't know the relationship we have on the court, you would think like, oh, wow, what a mean partner. But here I am just like, all right, we lost two in transition. I wish like that was a big point. And now we're 30 all instead of 40, 40, 15. It's not Florentina. It's just like we lost a point. Yeah. Did I, did I like get enough of defense? <laughs> yeah, I see. we're good, we're good. <laughs> see if Sabori moves here and tries to pick off this volley. Great leave there by Anika. That's a bad reset to the forehand. We should have run earlier. I think the transition here was too late. Uh, once uh, Roxy was um, so in such a good position, we had to bail earlier. Match point Match number one. I, I remember what I told her. I, I, I told her to go for her serve, for like big serve. Yeah. Because I know that uh, Roxy is going big return down the line. And if uh, floor goes a little harder wide, um, then I'll have a chance to poach. The biggest thing against them is that we don't want to lose the net. With a lot of other teams, we're totally fine being at the baseline. With them, we're really trying to take the net because it's just so much offense of their overheads. Mm -hmm. And that is why I'm going big on my serves. So they cannot just run in into the net because my serve is big enough that Anna might take it. So now Gabby has to wait and yeah. hopefully that little wait, it gives me a chance to drive and take the net back. If you were coaching a team and they're playing against another team that is beating them with their overheads, it's a sort of the same mm -hmm. adjustment, right? You mm -hmm. can't give up the net. Mm -hmm. So even if it means maybe you miss one or two more mm -hmm. serves than you Correct. usually would, you have to go. You go for a little more. Yes, yeah, so you got to come up with a couple of ideas and plans so you don't lose the net. Formation. I think we're going to see the same play. And we'll see if uh, Hanish can get that Champion forehand point. in. Here comes Nicolescu. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's no, nice. that's the god that I'm talking about. Right Gabby's fast, and me finding that cross core angle there. Wonderful forehand stroke there. She chunked one a couple points ago, and she just made up for it. Talking to Anika, really coming up with a strategy here. Nicolescu creeping in. If this ball goes past. That's a good serve. I thought a good serve, but Rox is still a big return. Back. I'm relying basically on Florentina's serve and... Um, oh, please, Anna, you're no. like so quicker than that and trying to help me the first Well, I can't do no, it. you're so good. You're so... No, you are. No, you are. <laughs> you know, Jeff, it'd be a shame if it didn't go three sets. It's such fun to watch. Oh! <laughs> can we cut this part out? I'm not happy, but I think that's obvious by... He's not happy. The sport of paddle is very frustrating. Um, you know, it's 
very easy to miss two, three returns in a row. The next thing, like 10 seconds later, now you're like lost the game and you left 30 already on your serves. But Jerry told us, Jerry Yant, um, she told us, it's like people start acting on the court like they're upset because they want to show the opponents that, all right, this is not my best, much better than this. And actually, who cares what they think? Like, they know us. So once you stop caring about showing that, like, oh my God, this I'm underplaying, then you actually are okay because the mistakes are part of the game, especially in paddle where it's really part of the game. You know, discipline, as the, we have like the most disciplined player in the game, I think that's the foundation of the paddle success. When do you struggle with discipline? Like, what makes you... All the time. <laughs> I have one little trick. I do it everything in my life. Um, I put all the things that I don't want to remember inside a box and then I close the box and then I make it smaller, 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 smaller and then I throw in the ocean. There's a lot of boxes right now in the ocean in the forest name <laughs> with things that I forget about it. When you let your body go like this and it just sends a message to your brain and now you're going to the next game and the chances are just even bigger that you're going to miss the next shot. So I'm still learning that art. Not a match point. This is what you're thinking. Like, longer it goes, l more opportunities they're missing. And oh, more I feel like the momentum is shifting. Because right now, it's like, if we can get to 5-0, I'm feeling pretty good. Because even though they're set ahead, you know, it's hard to have four match points and not finish. As soon as Hannah should hit that other overhead, she screamed watch. She knew that it was going. Oh, what a great shot there, right into the nick with a lot of spin. It jumped out. Was able to sneak it past Nicolescu into that deuce corner. Another good serve. Yeah, great. And you can even tell their body language are getting a little tighter. Mm -hmm. Slower steps, walking to their position. For Nicolescu, she had to go for it. Another great serve by Hanish. Yeah, what a clutch serving game from Hannish here. You see, lobbing. Mm -hmm. but now you lost the net. Exactly. What great pickups by all <laughs> players in that right there. Into the nick. Hanish, textbook coverage of it. Totally winning this one. There, <laughs> has been so clutch in this game. Trying to even things up at five all. Another great serve by Hanish. So good. You know, what a difference when Nicolescu, you know, isn't able to get that ball through right on the return. I mean, Hanish is really these last, you know, four or five serves have been spectacular, allowing Zabori to take control of the net. And there, I think, was a smarter play by Hanna. She just lobbed that one up as opposed to tried to drive it. And now, oh, right into the sun. Game, Hanna, the boy. Yeah, you know, you can miss any of those shots and then the match is over. We had so many opportunities to make a mistake and just the ball went in. So we can talk about being mentally tough, not giving up, but yeah, you do have to be a little lucky too. But it's not luck, I disagree, it's preparation, like... Can you go back when she was mentioning that uh, the paddle gods were on our side? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, but that the ball that I did it off the screen, like this cross court with Gabby closing, you wouldn't happen if I don't practice, right? True, so we I did feel practice like that. We do practice a lot of transition. We I practice think, a lot of transition. I think in today's game it's so fast and everyone is so athletic that without transition you really will have a hard time winning. Did you did you know at that moment like okay like this we're now we're we've got new life you we just got excited that we're alive and I could see them walking and looking at them and they were like you know, they know what, that they... what what should we do now like I, yeah. I think when I saw them with the crossover I was like I'd much rather be on this team you've obviously played matches where you've choked a lead or um, you know wasted some match points yeah. if you were in their situation what what would you hope you would have done? I am big on you play away and it doesn't matter what the score is, you play the same. If my play is the blitz, lob and blitz, I don't care if it's on the tiebreaker or on the first point, I'm gonna do it. 
Now I'm aware of also what's risky, what's not, right? So I did try to stay a little bit simpler, play more in the middle instead of trying to go for the corners and open up the court. So I think strategy-wise, I think that would be the biggest thing, trying to play a little safer. But we're not thinking that is a match point. We're not thinking is the first point. It's exactly the same. So it's like, no, don't think of the emotion. Just this is the strategy we've decided on. Absolutely. What's like a, a strategy that you say for your team you would use? Like the two return rule. We're not allowed to miss two returns. Like if Anna misses a return, I try to keep it very simple, my next one. That is why she's not driving. <laughs> <laughs> I have to love it. But if I miss my return, Anna tries to take down a little bit. And we might miss, but at least we weren't trying to go for the line on that shot. We have a strategy that works every time. So we do have, like, this is our basic, what we always bring. Knowing basically this is the shot I can go for based on where I am on the court. And this is a shot I can go for based on what kind of ball they're giving to me. So that is our basic strategy. It's like, don't go for a shot out of position, right? And then the, the second one, if um, we're going to give them this one, we always know what's the comfortable place to, to hit and what's a dangerous place to hit. And that's basically now we have for every team, every player that, and um, depending who we play, those are the things. You think people don't know your strategy? They do. We're not even hiding. She's post- <laughs> we're playing in the semis and finals and she's posting what we're supposed to do on like floor. Like, <laughs> she has no problem. She's like, I, I think I, we play better, they play better and that makes us play better and then everybody gets better. You know, I think um, really if you understand the game of paddle, you just you can't hide the strategy. Right? Right, right. People are watching us every tournament. So it's like they know what we're doing. They know I'm going to drive the forehand in the middle of the court and they know Florentine is going to blitz and they know that she has this tricky serve that no one really is comfortable driving they play us week after week they you know see what we're doing to them and if they come can come up with uh, something better and try to beat us and uh, now we have to come up with something new and mm-hmm. bring that challenge on on to short hills in the finals uh, we're down three love and I, I remember uh, floor went through very unheard of when it comes to floor she went through a little uh, roller coaster up and down on a play lights out but I, I just felt like I was missing my shots. I couldn't hit my spots. Florentina is a very steady emotionally player on our team. Like she doesn't go up and down too much. If she does that, it's like alarm for me to start behaving because I feel like I have to now take over a little bit. So I feel more responsibility. For a second, I had a feeling like I don't want to be on the court. Oh, I mean, this is terrible. And then Anna has this older sister thing that she wants to protect me. And then she really steps it up. She always has my back. So this one chance I had to, to show her that I have her back, I wanted to shine. Yeah, you did, absolutely. You did. <laughs> There's no like um, time that you've fought on the court this whole, whole season? Oh, we disagreed. Even in the finals, there's one time where um, I was not happy that I thought that Florentina stopped driving her forehand. Mm-hmm. She's like, I am not making the difference. Why would I force? And I was like, no, you're actually making the difference. You're just not seeing the bigger picture. Like her drive was the, the shot that they could not really find a solution for. Mm. People usually think that she's setting me up for my drive. So I think they're more uh, expecting me to get in and they're, they know it's coming. But Florentina has an amazing drive and I saw it in practice. It's like that, that, that drive is one of the best in the country. We're just not using it enough. So go for it more. Sure enough, she goes down the line and wins the point. And she's like, okay, I think I'm going to keep yeah. driving. <laughs> it's a lot of fun having two different personalities, being on the same team and we actually work together. But it's telling you, you don't have to be the same as your partner. Flori is like always like so careful and studies and measures and everything and I'm like a lot more laid back in that way even though I look so intense on the court like we would win short heels and start like with the conversations like we definitely need to change this and we need to change that and we what and I was like okay no no no, no. we actually won call me if you want to talk about how fun it is to win and, uh, <laughs> and how this is awesome and let's enjoy this and we're actually undefeated thank god <laughs> Thank God Anna is my partner. I need somebody to tell me, okay, we're overthinking right here. Mm-hmm. Florentina actually picks up things we need to work on and I'm like, okay, this is what works, so let's keep this. I think it's the perfect, perfect yeah. uh, combination. Nationals. So you've won six tournaments. What was the what was the thought process? It's very rare in our sport to really go undefeated. So we felt pressure throughout the season that people have nothing really to lose and we feel that when they're on the courts. 
It was a great first day. I think we played well and um, we were pretty relaxed. We finished a match and she said, congrats in a perfect season. And I said, oh yeah, that's true. So I did forget about it, which I know I forget all the things, but I was proud. I was able to forget it because I used to be very, very nervous before my matches. And I didn't realize at the time, but it was focusing too much on the end result. Mm -hmm. And you cannot control the end result. There is no control if you're going to win or lose. So trying to think about that is just not going to help you. We talked a lot to each other, um, ate together, you know, warmed up together, went every match from what we're wearing to what the strategy is, what the meal is, where we're meeting, what are we doing, what songs we're listening to. Our warm up was suited for each match, knowing who we play. There is nothing else we could have done. Yeah, I feel. Absolutely. And I, I think it sounds cheesy, but it's 100% the truth. So we kept rem reminding each other that we need to enjoy this and then. If they play better than us, we'll give them a hug and congratulate them. Absolutely. Hello, and welcome to the APTA Tour. This was like the dream matchup everyone was looking for. The women's final between Anika Nicolescu and Tanish Sabori. These two teams are peaking at the right time. Both have unbelievable weapons. Four of the most amazingly talented women in the game. And Tanish and Sabori have not lost a match all season. In the finals, first set we lost, but we knew the strategy is good here. We just kind of got to calm ourselves down and, and we're going to be okay. This particular set, I don't think they outplayed us. Many times they outplay us in many points. You're like, okay, this was highlight and this is absolutely wow. amazing, right? Because they are that good. But this was just like, you know, loose arrows and 6-4, you know, it could go either way. Against them, it always is like that. It could go either way. Something that's really great about your guys' matchup always though is it's not like anyone's playing scared or it's not like the one team gives it to the other then the other team gives it over. It's like all four players are really, are really taking it. There is just non-stop highlights. Let's look at the first game of the second set. The goal was to go to Roxy's back end. The problem going to Roxy's back end is that um, Gabby's big forehand is very close. <laughs> what do you think they feel when they're going to my back end? You head internationals undefeated, and there's a lot of pressure when you look up and you see Anika and Nikki Lesky. The combination of both. It's fun playing against them. Yeah, everybody wants the ball. Makes it really tough, but look at that. Oh. Anna was serving very well. In the first set, she got her serve twice, she made it, she held, and I got my serve broken twice. So once we started the second set, I asked her to serve first. Huh. Have you done that throughout the season before? Always. Always. We pay attention. Got to get that lob up. We can let you does have the ability to hit that roller overhead from outside the service box. Yeah, he rolls from anywhere. It's unbelievable. I don't know how she does it. Absolutely. Yeah. Good job. Controlling the spin. I'm too far over. I know what's coming. Oh. Yeah, it's smart play. Yeah. After watching this first game again of the second set, I see myself trying to go for a little bit more. Sometimes I got to remind myself, because Anna is such a powerhouse, I got to remind myself that I can't just let her do all the work. I'm not going to try to hit as hard as she does, but I have to create a little something instead of just, let me just push the ball back and hope Anna's going to do it. Otherwise, it's too much pressure. So I think I, I try to remind myself, okay, Floor, if you have the place, if you have the short ball, go for the drop shot. Let's see what happened the first game of the third set. It's that rhythm that I was talking about, mm -hmm. picking the spots rather than just blasting it. And I think that's one of the biggest things seeing Anna play from the beginning of the season was a lot of hard drives going through the middle. And now she's like really going like the cross or the down the line, really making them guess all the time. Because all those players have amazing volleys right here. You've got to just make, keep them guessing where it's going. And I thought she was amazing at that during the finals. And they are fighting hard to stop the momentum of Harnish and Zabori. There it is! Oh, oh that, that is so good. That is amazing. So, so good. 
sweet little backhand cutter. You have that shot, Jerry? She's the only one who has that one. Mm-hmm. Nobody else. No does. one does the backhand. No. And we knew we stopped running because it was yeah, yeah, no yeah. way. <laughs> Kulescu and Anika have two of the best rollers in the game. Why is this roll so hard to drive? Just because it shoots forward at you? Yes, because one, it's not high enough for me to drive downwards. And then he shoots forward too quick and then I hit late and then I miss. Hanish going with a little slice push forehand here, but staying with the rhythm off the deck. There we go. Brave. There we go. Brave. So that's the drive. And she's so good at placing the drive. I think that's the hardest thing. She can go anywhere on the court and the pace is right. The direction is right. And you just don't know what's coming. Now she went down the line, but she does go cross court with it if it's a little shorter. She's so solid with that shot, but sometimes she needs a reminder. I have a lot of players like, oh, I, I don't have power, I don't have offense from the baseline. You don't have to hit hard. Like, I'm not, they can be in a perfect position and I can just drive right at them and she's still in the point because it's just so powerful. But even if you don't have, you can just learn how to place it better. I, I guess that's what I try to do since I know I don't have the speed of it. Then trying to use more placement. I really don't agree with that, but that's okay. <laughs> Match point. In. And they won this point, that's a great point. They play unbelievable, Roxy play unbelievable this game. Big time serving volley right there. Great volleys. <laughs> you thinking at this moment at all? No, I was more nervous in the first set than here. Once you're in the groove, you're in the groove. Yes, you know, it's just, I think they played really well the previous game. I don't think we are doing anything wrong. It's so much fun to play with them, I love it. Mm -hmm. Great hands, Gabby. Oh, boy, Garrett. Oh, no! <laughs> no! So much work! So much work! But now, so obviously, easy miss for you. Yeah. This is your box in the... Absolutely, that's the box that goes in the ocean. Like, there is nothing, I, I don't have to think about it. It's just, it happens. combination of shots. Big time. Match point. I've seen the match point quite a few times. So watch Florentina hop and the ball goes She's keeping that ball in um, play through her legs. Zobori waiting for the right moment to come over and take charge. Nicolescu's Going after that heavy roller again. And that's it. Nice. Wow. Yeah. It feels just so good when I yeah. watch every time, by the way. This one felt better than the other one. It's different. It's different. The last year one, we came back being down so much in that finals and floor was pregnant and it was raining and there was just, we couldn't believe we actually pull it off. Yes. So we were like, that was crazy. At this time it was like, we got this. Yes, I was feeling more confident. In the past when I had played against those players, I felt like I, got, I was getting outplayed. And then now I was feeling very comfortable and I felt like we had a good plan and we're in control. And you know, they can beat us, they will beat us, oh. um, definitely. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, now I'm excited. Like I actually want to play them. I want to play those better teams. Like, but I still like my chances, you know. I heard, I heard you were watching, watching game take the, the night after the finals. Yes, maybe that was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people think that uh, the next thing is, you know, you, ha you have an undefeated season and now you feel so comfortable about it. and. Uh, Actually, no, the, the same evening of the Nationals, you know, we went back and we're like, we need to work on this. That's a pretty 
impressive or for lack of a better word that's a hard thing to do where, where do you think that comes from i think that uh, it's pretty sweet the, the feeling of winning is addicting um you don't know that until you keep winning and you're so tired exhausted from this tournament but you feel so good about it but also i think if you're into problem solving and if that's something you like to do um, that's another thing because you know it's not like you win six one six one every time there's always something you need to work on we want to come to this point where if you play us you should not feel comfortable anywhere right like where do I have to hit my overhead to be comfortable against on and floor? Like that is our ultimate challenge. We're like probably like 25, 30%. <laughs> We're still working. We're yeah. still working. Absolutely. Jerry actually, actually sent a little message to you too. Oh, it's... floor is about to take notes. <laughs> <laughs> what an outstanding season and journey. All eyes were on you and you came through. No stone was left unturned. Skills, fitness, mental preparation, strategy, diet. You even had matching outfits. You were always looking to strengthen the weakest link. And as one piece got stronger, you went to work and you were constantly looking to improve the other parts. And the joy was in the journey and knowing that you've done everything that you can and had fun together along the way. And that's the success. And Floor. How many times do you think Anna Maria said to me, why didn't you tell me that before? <laughs> you should be proud. Great effort. Enjoy the off season. Oh, wow. She's the best. You know, I think Jerry is um, the biggest paddle mastermind. I think no one understands the game better. People come to us and they, they are like, a lot of times I'm impressed. How do you do this and that? And it's like, actually there is a level above us and you first need to play for a while and get to a certain level and now you understand what a genius is. Last question. What, it seems like a super vague question, but we'll see what we come up. What would you say individually is your, I win when I... When I feel loose, when I have freedom. And again, I feel plenty of freedom. So I just have to get like, I feel like once I get into that groove, I do feel like I can like execute things I want. I agree. I think I'm going to say because Florentina is going to be too hard for her. I think um, up to a few years ago, people were sort of taking this sport as semi-professionally, you know, like would go out and drink the night before. And the one player that changed the game, and I would say for men and women, is floor like Aww. no you know I think but you know I've heard that from different players. This is not me just being nice as or so nice to each other and we have so much respect but people come to me and they're like no she changed the game like if you want to win you need to work now she's probably going down with like 20 national titles you know she won three national titles in seven days i mean it's not easy you know and i think she needs more credit because no one does that and if you do you will need to do all of those things we mentioned and pick the right partners well, I learned, like, I wasn't like that before starting with Florentina. If you see your partner actually being so demanding of herself and being so top-notch professional, you really cannot allow yourself not to care or not to try. So dedicate your time, effort, and study the game and be the student of the game and then go and deliver on the court and still be, you know, a smiling person. I, I think all of that changed the game. And I am, you know, I can openly say now, like, if you want to take her down, you will need to start doing what she's doing, what we are doing, because there's no way around it anymore. My head is this big. Can oh we do this goodness. every week? But don't worry, oh, she'll don't. forget. She'll forget <laughs> this. She will forget. She'll be like, you were so nice. I remember you were so <laughs> nice during what that interview, say? but what did you say exactly? <laughs> yeah, but I think Florentina is going to, um, you know, when they induct her into the Hall of Fame, I think the speech mm. will be that she changed the game into a <laughs> professional game. Well, ladies, you had the perfect season. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Thanks, that Mark. Was a lot of fun. We can do this Until really. next season. No, 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 no. We're starting pickleball. Oh, pickleball <laughs> is the next thing. Yes. Are we gonna play now? Yeah. Let's go. We're 
a great team and um, I always say I wouldn't want to be here on this journey with anyone else but you. We are different in almost everything, but if there's one thing that we're the same, is that we give our heart and we give everything we have on the court. Yes, we are the